Hate mail. Matt Sanders writes in. The subject of his email is Tom Suckus. Get it? This man's clever. He says, you're one of the worst persons ever. It makes me feel great knowing no one will visit you when you're in the hospital dying. In the parentheses, he says, someday. Well, thank you for that, uh, Matt. I appreciate it. Um, here's a name. Uh, it's unsigned. Uh, it's just one of these, uh, you know, sometimes people have an email address that's just gibberish with a bunch of numbers. Well, somebody writes in and says, Tom, I would like to say that I've given your show ample time to convince me to continue listening. I must tell you about myself before I, before I pass judgment. Judgment spelled J-U-D-G-E-M-E-N-T. I have an eighth grade education. I drive a tractor trailer. And I'm single at this time. I have no children. Don't drink, smoke, or do drugs. That being said, as a man, I must say that you don't have any idea as to the proper way to treat a lady. Your show celebrates the continuing detrimental treatment towards women... Highlighted by a complete and utter ignorance. Okay. <laughs> Love some of these. Michelle Aldrich writes it. It says, I'm no religious fanatic, but I, like most decent people, know right from wrong. And I know what makes our world a better place and what makes it go to pot. And she didn't say pot. Guess which one you are. Yeah, you love it, don't you? And the more you annoy people, the more money you make. That's beautiful. The seven deadly sins are pride, envy, gluttony, lust, anger, greed, and sloth. Name one that is not represented in your daily life. <laughs> envy. Envy. That's the one. I am not envious of anybody. I'm happy to be me. She says, enjoy hell, Tom. You will not be missed. <laughs> Come on. I'm going, all the boys, we're all going to hell together. We're going to continue this show in hell, by the way. So check your local listings when you get there. Thank you, Michelle. More and more email. More and more hate mail. The hate mail just continues here. Alan writes in and says, I was recently informed about comments you made on your program regarding places to pick up chicks. You stated that Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous meetings were an ideal place to pick up chicks. <laughs> I did say that. You're right. Prove me wrong on that one, bucko. He says here, while there is some validity to that gross remark, <laughs> He even admits there's validity to it. He says it defeats the entire purpose of a recovery program. Encouraging sick a-holes to do something like this shows what a stupid, irresponsible, arrogant bastard you are. Well, thank you for the compliment. I totally agree. He's <laughs> he said we attend those meetings in an effort to change and improve our lives. As well as uh, 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 our lives, as well as our usefulness to the community in general. When sick jerks like you screw with the ladies, especially the newer ones. So remember that, boys. It's the new recruits you want to go after. He's letting us know this. You're causing far more harm than good. <laughs> Why don't you learn more, that is, if you're capable, about recovery before you shoot off your ridiculous mouth and endanger others' lives? You know what? If I'm going to an AA meeting to pick up chicks, I'm really not concerned about your recovery. I'm concerned about whether I'm getting late. Bottom line, he said, I've observed some annoying, unacceptable, irresponsible actions, but yours just went to the top of the rotten list. The world would be a much better place with less people like you. And there is no excuse for someone in your position to say things like you did when you don't really know what the hell you're talking about. Yes, I do. You admitted to her that uh, there is validity to what I said, that uh, uh, AA and NA meetings are great places to pick up chicks. OA, 
not a good place to pick up chicks because you got fat chicks, another butt. But AA, NA, absolutely. He says if ignorance was a crime, you'd be serving several life sentences in the penitentiary by now. So, he didn't say F. He says, so F off, you piece of garbage. I hope you get some more replies to this from the bulletin boards I post off. Funny, I haven't gotten a single one. You must think a lot of yourself. We got more here. Oh, they just keep coming in. Uh, a listener named Cherry writes in and says, Let me start off by telling you that you are the last person in the world I thought I would ever send an email to, but I was bored. Tom, I am married. Yeah, I wrangled myself a man. Oh, lucky me. He prefers to hang with me and not the boys. I tell him to go out and be a boy, but he tells me he would rather be home with me since no other girl compares to me. If he wants sex, I never say no. I cook, clean, and do laundry and also bring home a good income every month without even having a job. How do you do that? Fellatio? Hmm. Uh, I laugh at your callers. I cannot blame you since what you spew is only crap. I also got a good laugh at the pictures of the girls on your site. I hope you do not think they are hot. Yeah, like with Carmen Electra? No. What a skank. Whatever, I'm 30 but look 23 with a body to match. For those girls of my age, they will have been used to look 50. Not my problem, but really, Tom, you suck, you're fat and so ugly, I would run the other way if I saw you. You remind me of a child molester... And a man who would let another man suck his thing. I hope some waitress takes a crap on your food and you die. Best regard, you effing loser. <laughs> They're just so angry. Beth Chapman writes in and says, I am so goddamn sick and tired of all you dumbass men thinking that women are put on this planet to please you. Get over yourselves and get a life. You fail to realize that women don't give a crap what you want. Are you kidding? Of course we know that. I'm an American who refuses to be treated like a maid. Now, here comes the reference to my Argentine girlfriend. Here it comes. Screw you if you think I should act like some exotic chick from Latin America or Asia, where they let men treat them like personal whores. I'm 30 years old and by definition do not fit into your narrow category of what you consider hot. She's a cow. I could care less that I'm single. Life is too short. To... <laughs> yeah. I could have guessed that you were single, sweetheart. Life is too short to put up with some a-holes BS. I'm sure the only reason you like little girls besides their hot bodies is because they are completely clueless to your game. What's wrong with that? My encounters with your faithful uh, listeners have brought me to the end of my rope. I wouldn't be surprised if someday I turn into a lesbian. Congratulations on alienating yet another bitch. <laughs> well, Beth, that's wonderful. Just wonderful. Uh, of course, we let off with the uh, haters here. And uh, now, if you would like to call in and express your distaste. No, not distaste, not strong enough word. If you're a hater, you hate me, you hate the show. You hate what we stand for. You've been dying to get your... I mean, real hatred now. If you love to hate me or hate to love me, forget it. I'm talking about the kind of bile spewed out by these letter writers. That's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. If you echo these kinds of sentiments, now is the time to dial in. Why are you screaming? Because I'm damn mad! Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, you're amazing. I love you. Do you know that? Uh, 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 I still love you. You are just, you are my strength. You are my everything. It's the Tom Like It Show. <laughs> As you know, I am the one and the only... Radio personality who has the balls to talk to his detractors, to talk to the haters at 1-800-5800-TOM, but you must be a hater. If you love the show, sit back and love it. Listen to it, enjoy it, and hear the haters call in and tell why they hate me. Now, Dean is hung up on all the sycophants. So if you've always wanted to tell me off, 
Dean has cleared phone lines just for the haters. The number is 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. We'll start this with Kathy on the Tom Liget Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Kathy. I don't hate you as much as I feel really sorry for you because sometimes the uh, radio's on after my husband listens to the station in the morning and I turn it on and, and I'm just appalled. I just, it just seems so obvious to me how much you hate women because you, you can't mm. get one that's smart and sexy and complete. And if oh, you could, I see. you would understand them more. But how do you know I don't have one? You compartmentalize women. You're wait, 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 wait. How do you know I don't have one? But I can't imagine any full balanced our thinking woman would want to be with someone that's so afraid of himself and women. Well, I'm not afraid of myself at all. I like being with hot chicks. Yeah, that's yeah, hot chicks. And that's what most guys like, by the way. I'm just you another guy. Challenge you in what way? Dear, I don't need to be challenged when I'm at home. I need dinner on the table. You do. I know it. You know, my challenge is coming in here and talking to people like you. That's my Ooh. challenge. When I go home, I don't want to be challenged. How many women turned you down to make you so bitter and hateful? Dear, I, I, I don't hate women. You don't understand. Oh, a, a man who hates women doesn't get married over and over. You hate any woman that is whole and balanced. You like someone that you can dominate and make fun of and, you know. You no, no. You know what? I, I love how you demean the qualities of being uh, sexy, no, hot-looking. No, no, sexy is awesome. I'm sexy. And uh, being able to make a, a, a good meal and being willing to do the laundry. I, I love how you demean all of that. No, I don't demean that. I think well, sexy is awesome and required. I also think being smart and proud and not shameful is required. And any woman who would be with you after the way you speak about talking about and probably treat women mm. must feel really oh they so they hate themselves too so do i i don't hate myself why would you think i hate myself well i think that you have a lot of shame because you can't be with a full person and because oh you hate women so much mm. and you are you a psychiatrist by the way no god psychologist I make a lot more money no huh? yeah mm. so yeah. so this is just one amateur's opinion yeah, I, I mean, just somebody who listens to you and goes, oh, my God, that poor man, has he ever been with a whole person? Well, well dear, ever... again, I don't know why you would assume that I haven't been with what you call a whole person. Because a whole person. I've been with some of the hottest, smartest women in the world. Yeah, hot, hot I get, but you know what I mean? A whole person wouldn't feel good with a person who hates women so much. You but know? I don't hate women, that's the point. You mean and you degrade them. Well, does it, what, no matter what I say on the radio, I don't hate women. Yeah, but There's no better place to deposit sperm life. than a woman. It's like the best location you could think of. Do you think women better than are a hand than towel, you? better than a sweat sock, way better? Yeah, that's funny. I don't find it funny, honey. So I mean, you can be misogynistic. Well, why are you so offended? I, I think that you hate women, and it's offensive to me that you can't just be honest and talk like. Well, you. why do you continue to listen if you hate it so much? I, d I turn it off. That's why when I was just... Well, how do you know what I'm doing if you don't listen? I've listened enough that it makes me nauseous. Oh, I see. Oh, and, and, and more importantly, why does your husband listen? He, he doesn't. Yeah, he that's what he tells you. No, he has it on the station when he takes her to school at 8, and when I come on at 3 o'clock... That's, that's what he tells you, that he well, doesn't I'm listen. I'm in the car, so he can't, he, he can't be lying, because I'm the one in the car by myself. I see. He doesn't listen at work or at home or anywhere else. Oh, no, huh? God, no. Mm. He's a really whole, full, funny... Well, group. dear, you know, it, it, takes, it takes just seconds time. to press the button and turn stations, and you don't. No. Oh, I do. I do. I well, dear, then you have no idea what I talk about here. Yeah, but uh, no. you, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. You either listen and you feel I hate women because you've heard all the things I say, or you yeah. don't listen. But you can't have it both ways. You never listen and you know I hate women. It's, you can't have it that way. No, you're not listening. I said I've heard enough. I've How heard could enough. you if you tuned out? Meaning insulting things about women. How could you hear it if you tuned out? Well, I said I've heard enough. How much is that? Enough. One or two minutes is enough. One or two minutes, and based on that, you can give me this analysis of me personally. Absolutely. Isn't that really? sad? Well, That's it's sad, sad for you that you think you've got that kind of grasp on psychology and psychiatry. I have to go on with real life now and let you stay in your dream world, but I really wish... My you dream world, yes. Well, dear, just remember, all this time you've been on the air with me, uh, I probably made several thousand dollars, and you were grist for the mill here. Yeah, well, believe me, I make a lot more than you do, but anyway... Oh, I you do? Yeah, I do. Really? Who is this? Are you married to Warren Buffett? No, I make it myself. Thank you. Really? What do you do for a living, darling? I'm, I'm an actor. You're an actor? Mm -hmm. Acting uh, Acting in what? Uh, anything we've seen? I've made 20 films and done three television series. Really? Yeah. Wow. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're not talking about how much money we make. We're talking about the sadness that I feel. Oh, I yes. 
so hateful as you, not really owning up to why you hate women. Well, there, you know, again, if you were really, really attractive, you would not object as much as you you say you are. But I'm so attractive, and I I don't need to prove that to you because there, it doesn't. You don't have to prove it to me. I don't need any proof. I'm saying if you were that attractive, attractive you wouldn't be this offended. Attractive to me doesn't mean anything. I love women. I uh, think they're the greatest, smartest people on earth. Really? Maybe you should be with one. I know some of the most beautiful, literally the most beautiful women on earth. They're, they're, they're my, my best friends. On earth? Famous? Yes, actually on earth. The most beautiful. You have empirical evidence of this. <laughs> yeah, and, and they, you know what? They're smart, balanced creatures. And then. Mmm. Well, you have no idea how happy I am, dear, and you have no ha idea how happy I am that you get so upset when I do a radio show because uh, it's music to my ears. God bless you. Bye. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Beautiful. I'm sure she's gorgeous. 1-800-5800-TOM is her telephone number in this hour of the show. The only radio talk program where the host has the balls to talk to the people who really hate him the most. If you are one of those people, you can call us at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. But you've got to be a real hater. If you know someone who really hates the show and they've been waiting for their opportunity to say so, you can certainly tell them to call in now, and I'll be happy to have that conversation. But again, the number 1-800-5800-TOM. Talk to our screener, Dino. And uh, Dino will not screen you out. The more you hate me, the more likely it is you and I are going to have a conversation. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. More of your hate calls, more of your bile coming up. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. All right, haters. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. By the way, you can go to the blowmeuptom.com website and see all our hate mail, including the newest entries. All the newest hate mail is at blowmeuptom.com right now. It's Fred on the Tom Likas Show. Haters, hello. Hey, Tom. Yes, yeah, Fred. I'm a hater, dude. Tell us why. I hate you so badly that I'm considering suicide because I have to breathe the same air that you do. Really? Yeah. Um, are you sure it's not the fires? You know what? What? Tom, I love you, bro. Your screener's good, man. I had to call back seven times. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. When's last Friday, baby? <laughs> okay. We tried and tried and tried to keep the sycophants off the air. No matter what we do, we want the haters on the air with us. 1-800-5800-TOM. That frees up another line for an actual hater. Candace on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, you don't take criticism very well. Really? Yeah, people call in and... I can't believe you're saying that. What? I can't believe you're saying that. Why not? How dare you say that I can't take criticism? Of course I can take criticism. <laughs> well, when people call up and try to criticize you, you don't listen. You cut them off. Oh, would I do that? You do it all. Absolutely time. not. Yeah. I never cut people off. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I never do. Right. Wrong. You always have never. to be right. I always have to. No, I always am right to you. There's a difference. No, you're not. No, you're not. Really? Prove it. I'm listening. Uh, I don't want to go into it because... Meaning because you don't have any evidence uh, no, that I've been wrong about anything. You, and then you'll... What exactly am I wrong about? <laughs> Many things. Like? Well, like today, I think you said something about all men look at women a certain way, and you, of course, in the past. Oh no, I don't. I don't believe all men do because gay men don't. Well, but you say you never use the words all or never. There's always exceptions, but there are exceptions to every rule. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, gay men do not care if women are hot. Many of them do uh, judge them by that, so just as women judge each other as whether they're hot, but. Uh, I would say, of course, there are exceptions to that rule in all of them. Well, I would say there's personal taste involved in it. What one man thinks is hot is not what another man thinks is hot. Oh, oh, you're not. I don't, I don't disagree with what you just said. I, you're absolutely right. And but that doesn't mean. But what I said. But what what you just said doesn't contradict what I said. I said men judge women according to whether or not they're hot and how hot they are. It doesn't matter if one man thinks something's hot and another doesn't. But we judge. Well, then we have the weight issue, and you constantly talk about women who are like five, four, and hundred and 
25 are overweight, and that's absolutely ridiculous. Well, actually, it's more like the woman who called was 5'1 and 185. What do you think about that? Yeah, but you get it way down there, and, and it's just ridiculous when you get down into the, the weight categories that you expect. And, of course, you know, I think... Well, that's what men find attractive. Do you have a problem with that? I have a problem with the man saying that who has a weight issue himself. Well, I've just lost 50 pounds, dear. Well, unlike most of the porkers who call in here, I, I went out and hired a personal trainer and went on the Atkins diet, and I lost 50 pounds. I think that's wonderful. but That's great. Know. So now I'm in a position to be critical. And, uh, and by the way, as the man who pays the bills in the relationship, I'm always in a position to be critical. Really? And then you have a woman living with you, I think, don't you? Isn't she living with you? And yet you tell men not to have women live with them, that that's a mistake. Dear, I talk to men who are 25 years old, 22 years old, 19 years old. Uh, you know, I'm 47 years old, darling. Well, these I'm guys, ju these guys want to get laid. I tell guys, do not l move in with anyone or get married before age 25. That's what I tell them. I you should listen more carefully. <laughs> I've been married four times. I have never told people not to get married or not to live together. I have told them not to do it young. Oh, I see. So I could, didn't hear that so, little. Uh, well, I guess you have a hearing problem. I have a hearing. Because the guys certainly know that I tell them 25 is the dividing line. So it's okay for a man to live with a woman after that then? Uh, actually, I think they should wait as long as they can push it off because there are very few benefits to a man for doing that. I know. Why are you doing that? If there's, I, don't, I, I, I couldn't really understand why you would ever do that. Uh, well, actually, uh, when I have done it, I've done it because there were benefits to me for doing it. Uh -huh. But they rarely are benefits to a man for doing that. And by the way, uh, when I've done it many times, it turned out to be a disaster. So ask me when I'm done uh, with a relationship how, how it's going, and I'll tell you. But there have been many disasters. And by the way, I make no secret of the fact that the reason I know so much about relationships is because I've made every mistake I counsel against except having children. That's the one I didn't make. Every other mistake I made. I put my hand over the flame every time, and it burned every time. I understand. I think now you just don't want to have a real relationship with a woman because you don't want to get hurt again. And you've told people to, you know, that's not, it's not worth it. Why? Well, why do I keep doing it over and over again if that's true? Pardon me? Why do I keep doing it over and over again if that's true? I don't keep doing what? Relationships? Yeah. They, you, you just, you, first you tell me I have a girlfriend. And you, you bring that up, and then you, you go ahead and say that I don't want to have a relationship with a woman. I mean, which a is it? A real relationship. What's the difference? Real. What makes it real? What makes a what real makes relationship, it, darling? What makes it real is that you're in a committed relationship that you feel is going to uh, last a long time. Well, most people who believe their relationship is going to last forever are deluded. Uh-huh. Well, and, you, and the proof is in the numbers. More than half of all the marriages end in divorce, as you know. Do you believe in love? What does that mean? Do I believe in love? Yeah. <laughs> is this a song? It is a song, actually. Oh, well, that's my point. I mean, what does that, that phrase doesn't mean a damn thing. It's just a song lyric. Well, I know that a lot of people have... Uh, Do you believe in Peter Pan? Pardon me? Do you believe in Peter Pan? How about the Tooth Fairy? I think that a lot of people call you and they ask for advice, and I think they're asking the wrong person. Oh, hardly, advice. because I've made other every than, mistake in the book, and I've learned I, from my mistakes. I will, I will say that you're teaching young men to use condoms and not get women pregnant is, is very Right. Wrong. I'm not only teaching them that, I'm teaching them to have sex with them and don't tell them their last names. By the way, for someone who hates me, you sure do listen a lot. Oh, I do. Yeah. I do. I listen a lot. I know. Yeah, your, your topics are very interesting, but uh -huh. you as a person, I think... I'm not interesting that. as a person. Is that what you're telling me? Pardon me? I'm not an interesting person. I didn't say you weren't interesting. Oh. I said I feel sorry for you because I don't really think you could actually have a meaningful relationship with a... Well, how do you know I'm not having meaningful relationships? I'm just having them one after another. How do you know that? Because you've been married four times. But, but four uh, times. that doesn't mean I didn't have years where the relationships were meaningful. And it just the means they ended. And was right. All you do, I really do think that you are so biased against women. It doesn't matter. You're biased against women. I wouldn't deposit my sperm anywhere else. Well, your attitude towards women is very uh, degrading. How so? 
because you just look at them as it's sex, and I really, I really think honestly, you're you, a you, that's just because you wish you were a sex object. The women, the women who object to oh, women being no objectified, problem. those are the women who are not sex objects to begin with. Uh, I don't have a problem there. Well, everyone says that on the phone. You know, I, I, we can't see you, so it's easy for you to say. <laughs> I don't really care. Oh, I yeah. know what that, I am. That's another thing you all say when you're not attractive. You know. That's what you say. We don't really care. It doesn't really matter. It shouldn't matter but to you me. You know what? You need to learn to take criticism a little bit better, I believe. I, how, how dare you say I can't take criticism? I, I, of course I take criticism. I know you don't. When somebody comes up and just uh -huh. lies all over you, and you just cannot. Yeah, when's the last time you got laid? When? When's the last time you got laid? Last night. By who? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend. How does he? How does he listen to you? I'd, I'd like to know how he can stand to hear that voice. <laughs> See, here we go. This here we is go. The what you have to do? Now. I am curious. I would. Is he there? I'd love to ask him. Uh, no, he's not here. Yeah, he's probably out banging someone else. No. Uh -uh. No. How do you know? Actually, he d he's very concerned that I might do that, and I'm. He's yeah. concerned that you might do that. Uh -huh. uh, why do you uh, make him so insecure? Uh, you I, don't have a meaningful relationship, I, I guess. I don't. I don't make him insecure. Well, it sounds to me like he doesn't think you have a meaningful relationship with him. No, Otherwise, he wouldn't. Why is he worried that you'll have sex with somebody else? He's not. He just wants to make sure that that doesn't. Oh, he wants to make sure. How old are you? Uh, I'm not going to tell you that. Oh, that old, huh? Not okay, 45 no, plus. You know what? Anything over 30 in your book is over the hill, and that's another thing that's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, and by the way, uh, you've gotten to this advanced age over 30, and you're still not married? Why not? I didn't say I hadn't been married. Oh, so you've also been divorced. What happened to your meaningful relationships? I was married once, and I only took me once. Oh, I see. But uh, was it meaningful? certainly was. It was. So uh, that, you so you made my point for me. It's possible to have a relationship, then get divorced, but the relationship was meaningful at the time, isn't it, dear? It was meaningful for many, many years. and, and we Well, have... I had several meaningful relationships, and then they ended. Children. Oh, there we go. Single mother, too. That's one of the reasons you're so angry. I'm not angry. Oh, listen to you. Please, everybody knows you're angry. <laughs> I'm not angry. You're an angry, bitter broad who's out there with the two kids and the boyfriend who won't commit. We know the deal. Boyfriend, I don't want that. I have that. I don't need that. Oh. And unlike you, you have I don't what? need to do that one again. You have what? What do you have? What are you talking about? You said you have that. You have what? I don't need a commitment. I don't want that. You know, that's what women say when they can't get one. No, I don't want one. I did that. I've been I see. that. I, it only takes one. So he's asked one. you to marry him and you said How no. Did it take you? He asked you to marry him and you said no. Uh, I haven't been divorced that long, so I'm really not ready to get married. I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I understand. And why didn't that relationship work out? Oh, you don't want the details. Oh, you? sure I do. I've got all night. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, we're just supposed to be talking about you here. Oh, 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 really? Yeah. Oh, uh, come on. Every once in a while, it's good to get to know the listeners. Is it really? Sure it is. Uh -huh. I'm a psychologist, by the way. I'll bet you are. Right. And I'll bet if I cracked your ass, you wouldn't mind a bit. I wouldn't. <laughs> All right, there's the truth right there in a nutshell. You're such an orgy pimp. I love your style. You know, what you teach is like how I live. You know, that's my life now. Thank God. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. Talking to the haters at 1 800 5800 Tom, the only radio talk show with the guts to have in depth conversations with his detractors. If you hate me, call me now. 1 800 5800 Tom, it's Tino. Hello. Tino. I just said that. Tino. Yes, Tino. It, it, I, I, this is Tom. Did you want to talk to Tom? I would like to. All right, hold on, please. Like his show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Tino on the Tom Like his show. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Uh, who's this? Who do you want to talk to? I would like to talk to Tom. The Tom. 
Vegas show at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Tino on the Tom Likas show. Hey. Hello? Hello. Can I help you? Yes, it's Tom there. Oh, you want to talk to Tom? What do you want to talk about? I just want to talk about our differences of opinion. He's got, uh, he, he, he says that, uh, he does not, he's had several meaningful relationships. Yes. And I would just like to understand his views if he's already had several meaningful relationships that he cannot relate to a single person out there. No, but do, do you hate him? That's the, do you hate him? Oh, I can't say I hate, I just disagree. Well, you can't get on unless you hate him. Okay, then I hate him. All right, hold on, hold on. Tom like his show at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Tino on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hello. Yes, can I help you? Yes, yeah, Tom there. Yes, hold on, please. Show on one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Tino on the Tom Likas Show. Yeah, well, this is the show, but I'd like to talk to Tom. Oh, of course. Hang on there a second. The Tom Likas Show one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Tino. Hello. Tom. Yes. Are you there? Do you want to talk to Tom? I hate you. Why? Well, for all kinds of reasons, but I could uh, name one. All right, what would that be? You, you yourself said that uh, you've had several meaningful relationships, right? Right. Okay, which one was the most meaningful? Uh, it's hard, kind of hard to judge at this point after they're over. Yeah, they're, they've all been done and gone, right? Well, but, of course. Uh, what I, what I if they were still here, I'd still be in them. Well, if you had so many meaningful relationships, yes. I'm, sure you, I'm sure you'd have something to hold on to, right? Otherwise, you'd, you, you're sitting here arguing mm. with every single caller that calls. Right. Right? Right. Right. By the way, I'm did like, you want to talk to Tom? Yeah, I do. Okay, hold on, please. Like his show. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. This is Tino on the Tom Like his show. Give me something quick, dude. <laughs> Tom, 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 Tom. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom. Hey, you want to hear a spanking? Yeah, of course I do. All right. Ow! 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 How'd you like that? That was pretty good. My ass is red. The Tom Likas Show. Yes, our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Ashley, can you get it in in 30 seconds? I sure can. All right. All right, I have a question for you. Real quick. Do you have a large penis? Do I? Yes. Absolutely. You want to come down and check? I do, because I think that's uh, one of the reasons that you're having some girl troubles there. Well, dear, if you come on down here, you can uh, check it out for yourself. Where's your address? Well, don't worry. Hang on. We'll get that organized here. Hang on. Uh, and, uh, our, again, our email address is tom at blowinguptom.com. Any of you girls want to check out my manhood, just uh, write in. The Tom Likas Show.